ഓക്കെ അല്ലേ വിസിബിൾ ആണോ ആണ് ഓക്കെ അമൃതേ ഓക്കെ ആണോ ആടാ നീ തുടങ്ങിയിട്ടോ ഓക്കെ ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ ഡിയർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ സാർ ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ സാർ ഗുഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർനൂൺ സാർ today we are going to see something about dreams when you have a good dream at night you all are happy but when your dreams are fulfilled you are in a state of extreme happiness that is like a ecstasy state so i'll give you a small activity related to our dreams which is i'll play a song and you guys have to write your favorite dreams anything like two will be enough you have to write it and post it in the chat box so shall we begin yes sir yes, yes, sir. yes, yes sir yes sir so start typing i'll just play the song of sarojini naidu before starting let's have a quick view into the life of sarojini naidu have you, have you seen the picture of sarojini naidu yes sir yes, yes, sir. yes sir okay yes, sir. she was also known as the nightingale of india and she was an activist in the freedom movement in india her well known works include the golden threshold the bird of triumph the broken wing etc is it visible yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yeah now let us see a quick summary of the first stanza of the poem the song of a dream is a beautiful lyric written by sarojini naidu it shows that the poet's longing to dwell in an idyllic place marked by the absence of vice or evil she expresses her desire in form of a dream and describes the idealized place as the magical wood in the land of sleep so in short she wants to go and settle down in a place where it is full of peace full of happiness every one of us will have such a dream right yes sir yes sir 
Now, it's a time for you to read this stanza individually and silently. So, every one of you, please take your book and read the first stanza of the poem, Song of a Tree. Have you completed reading the poem? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I'll be dividing you guys into a group, into several groups. Your bench will serve as your group, and your bench mates will be your group mates. Now, discuss this poem and mark the un unfamiliar words in this poem so that we can explain the unfamiliar words before going to the detailed explanation. Take your time and discuss it with your group mates. Have you guys finished reading? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Yeah, very good. So now let's just go to the vocabulary session and find out the meanings of the unfamiliar words. The first word is poppy. Can you guys see the picture? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. This poppy is a herbaceous plant with a showy flower, milky sap, and rounded seed capsules. Many poppies contain alkaloids and a source of drugs such as morphine and codeine. Now that you see the big Bollywood stars are associated with the drugs, I think you guys are familiar with the names of the drugs and different categories of drugs. Second word is sprang. Sprang has double, like two meanings. You can say that sprang means to rise, leap or move suddenly. Also, it has a meaning that it is a, the symbol or the past symbol of the spring. Here, the poet might be using this term to indicate the movement of the poppy, poppy flowers in the poppy field or it can also mean that the poet, that is Sarojini Naidu, is talking about the spring season. Now the third word is stream. See the picture, it's a small or narrow river. Now, let us go to the moral recitation of the first stanza. Once in the dream of a night, I stood, lawn in the light of a magical wood. Saw deep in the visions that poppy like sprang, and the spirits of truth were the birds that sang, and the spirits of love were the stars that glowed, and the spirit of peace were the streams that flowed in the magical wood in the land of sleep. Have you guys heard the poem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, one of you guys can read this poem or recite this poem aloud so that your friends can listen to it. Sharanya, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you please recite the poem for the entire class? Yes, sir. Once in the dream of a night I stood, long in the light of a magical wood, so deep in visions that poppy like sprang. And spirits of truth were the birds that sang, and spirits of love were the stars that glowed, and spirits of peace were the streams that flowed in that magical wood in the land of sleep. Yes, now that we have heard the poem, we have uh, done with its summary, I'll ask you some questions to get a proper understanding whether you guys have understood it or not. So, shall I ask some questions? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, can you see the question on your screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, who is I referred in the poem? 
Gayatri, are you there? Yes, sir. Sarojini Naidu. Very good. It is Sarojini Naidu is referred to as I in the poem. That is, she is the poet itself. Poet itself is the narrator or the uh, one who is speaking about her dreams in the first stanza. Now, the second question. Sarojini Naidu is also known as Ashwadi, are you there? Yes, sir. So, Sarojini Naidu is compared to the Nightingale of, sorry, Nightingale of India. Yes, very good. She is also known as the Nightingale of India. Hopefully you guys have understood this portion. Let's move on to the poetic device in the portion. Metaphor. What is metaphor? Okay, apart from the definition, I'll say it in a simple way. When something which is entirely different is being compared, something that you cannot compare in normal circumstance is being compared, it is called metaphor. So, now let's read the definition. Metaphor is a figure of speech containing an implied comparison. Implied means there's a forceful comparison. Normally, we don't compare like that. With, with metaphors, phrases of words that are ordinarily applied in to one thing are applied to something you wouldn't necessarily pair with. That is an unusual kind of pairing. Here, example. The curtain of the night fell upon us. Here, the night is compared to a curtain, which is not a usual comparison. There is no similarity between night and curtain, but the comparison is between night and curtain here. So that is an example for metaphor. Now let us do an activity related to metaphor. Find an example of metaphor from the poem. Anusha, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes. Truth is compared to birds. Yes, it's true. Uh, here, truth is compared to birds, which is an unusual comparison. Normally, we don't compare truth to a bird, which is an example of metaphor. Now, let us move on to our discourse activity. Hopefully, all the group members are ready to find the dis answer to your discourse question. So, the question is, in this poem, what is love compared to? Can you guys hear it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this poem, what is love compared to? Discuss it with your group members and find out the answer. Have you guys got the answer? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so I'll ask one member from each group to read the answer aloud and the other members can type it in the chat box. Is it clear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So, Gopika, from Team 1, please tell me the answer to this question. Yes, sir. Love is compared to stars. Very good, Gopika. And uh, Adira, Team 2, please tell me what's your answer. Love is compared to stars. Yes. Both the teams have said the correct answers. So, I'm very happy that you guys uh, are telling the correct answers and listening to the class. Now, I'll show you my version. So, in this poem, love is compared to stars. Other comparisons in this poem includes truth and birds. Truth is compared to birds, as Anusha has already told us. Now, the other comparison, which is in the second last line, is the Peace is compared to streams. Is it clear, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, let us conclude this class by saying, stating a few points. This poem is not important. But the dreams that you have written in the chat box is very important. So, in, a, in an indirect way, Sarojini Naidu is inspiring you guys to follow your dreams means it's an inspiration that you follow what you like or you do what you like 
So I'll conclude by saying that think about your dreams, what you have written and how you guys are going to achieve that. Before winding up our class, let's move on to a fun activity that will be your follow-up activity. Have you, can you guys see the picture? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. You, yes, have, sir. you have heard this class, you have heard the model recitation and uh, loud reading by your friend. Now you have to tell me what is wrong with the picture in the next class. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Clear. Yes, you have sir. to find what is the error yes, in this sir. picture. Okay, guys. Thank you. And with this, we'll just conclude our class. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.